Hello everyone. I'm coming, coming to you today from the gardens in and around what we call the barrel cluster here at the park. Um, they're quite a unique architectural cluster of buildings that uh, were actually built using the spirit receivers from whiskey uh, factories. And they look like giant uh, oak caskets, giant bat. The message today is coming from this flower, which is a Tibetan blue poppy. And this message is, uh, can be found in Dorothy McLean's Seeds of Inspiration, the Tibetan blue poppy. Today we come in on sound like a rush of wind and always with the aura of our native places, a feeling for the environment most natural to us. Humans have taken us from that environment and spread us over the world to adorn gardens. We are pleased with the appreciation but we keep our links with the places that bred us and made us what we are. You take those links and classify them as shade loving, acid soil, etc., which are the results. It is the soul, the overall feel of a place, which influences the direction of growth. As the autumn colors of the maple are not as brilliant in Europe as in their native lands, so each plant is more fully itself in its natural conditions. You wonder why I point this out. There is no implied criticism. We simply state facts and merely bring with us the aura of what we are. It is a part of our being and the leeway within it extends only so far. You wonder if we, the essence of formless and free being, can breathe the breath of being into a foreign garden and imbue our plants with their native radiations. We do that all the time. And although this garden of conscious cooperation, we can be more truly ourselves, variety remains the spice of life. Let each garden be different and unique, as is each soul. Your trend should be to unity, not uniformity. Now we take you to the worlds that bred us, worlds of light with intelligent, selective minds and fingers searching in the light and the dark, in the dry and the moist, with warmth in the cold to produce an expression of the cross of radiations which make the blue poppy, life uniting, concentrating its goodness. Earth, water, fire and air, all activated with glorious purpose, knowing what they are doing and doing it. Thus were we created and thus we continue on, being ourselves in the almighty ease of love, which is everything us. This was one of the messages that Dorothy would consistently share when she and I did workshops. It was an important message for her about how, you know, as humans we bring plants from all over the world into our gardens and we try to recreate their conditions and to be attentive to the fact that they are indeed a long way from home and bringing apart of the world that we may never see or visit into our gardens through their presence. So have a look around your garden and see how many continents you can find. Until the next time, bye for now.